the question is if a comma b comma c are pf qf and rf terms respectively of a gp then prove that the given matrix is equal to zero the or question of the same question the or part of the same question is if a is equals to 2 minus 3 5 3 2 minus 4 1 1 2 minus 2 matrix then find a inverse and then using a inverse solve the following system of equation as a, a is the pth term so it can be written as capital a that is first term of the gp into capital r that is the common ratio of gp raised to the power of p minus 1 similarly if b is the qth term can be written as a r is your q minus 1 and if c is the rth term it can be written as a r is for r minus 1 so taking log in both sides log a can be written as log capital a plus p minus 1 log capital r log b is equals to log capital a plus q minus m log capital r similarly log c can be written as log capital a plus r minus m log capital r so from 1 2 and 3 the matrix changes to this matrix the both matrix could can be split as these two matrix from this matrix if we take log a common then we have this matrix in this matrix two columns are equal so this will be a null matrix Therefore, it is equal to C zero. And now, if this matrix is multiplied by log r, it becomes this matrix. Now, if we do a transform column transformation, if column one changes to column one plus column three, so column one. That's row one. We need column two. If column one changes to column one plus column three. Then we get. This matrix, and in this matrix, two columns are equal, and hence this will be also a null matrix. So we have proved that. Answer. Now the R part of the, the equations can be represented how. A F is equal to B, where we need to find the value of X. So X is equal to A inverse. So anyhow, we 
have to find the a inverse so first we need to check whether a inverse exists or not for that we need to find the determinant of the a matrix as it comes out to be minus 1 which is not equal to 0 hence a inverse exists For finding A inverse, first we need to find the cofactors of elements of A. So these are the cofactors of elements A. Then we make a matrix of cofactors. From cofactors, if we transpose the cofactors matrix, we get adjacent of A matrix. And as we all know that a inverse is equal to 1 by determinant of a into a descent of a so we get a inverse as 0 minus 1 2 minus of 0 minus 1 2 2 minus 1 23 1 minus 5 and 30 So after this, we have to put the value of A inverse matrix into this equation to get the values of x, y, and z, and hence this is the answer.